Welcome. Okay, so today we're going to be going through uh, my README um, and, you know, how to use it and make it usable for your own uses. Um, so I pre I already have my questions pre-typed up just to keep this video nice, short, and sweet. Um, so basically what this uh, README generator, we're, we're generating a README document. Um, and yeah, so we uh, created, we, you know, installed Inquire, used a file system, Util, um, to write these files, uh, list questions, kind of just basic table of contents stuff right there. Um, you can go through, you can see our different questions. We used input for a lot of these, or just expect strings back. Um, and then the last one, we did do a pick, depending on the different uh, licenses that you could choose from. Go ahead and section that off. Um, down here we have the bulk of the uh, text. Uh, as you can see, we created a table of contents um, and we linked it down into the different projects. Um, we showed, you know, usage, roadmaps, contributors, how you can contribute, and then um, put my contact or the user's contact information down there. Uh, really good stuff here. We'll show you what all that looks like uh, here in a second once we get the file generated. Here we created a write function. We're writing it there and we also initialized it um, through there and then uh, we called it uh, to finalize everything. So there we go. Alright, so what I'm going to go do, come down here, type in node index.js. What this is going to do is going to prompt me, what's your full name? Alright, so and in that prompt, we're going to quit Jeffrey McLeod. Type a description of my project. Um, there we go. This project is helped build customizable, readable, build customizable readmes faster in the future. Uh, this will speed up the process of generating a good formatted readme in a quick, efficient manner. That's basically what I wanted to create today. So there we go. Um, how did you get started with your project? Okay. Let me grab that response, and we'll throw it right there. Um, simply fork the project over. Oh, so how to get started with your project? Um, if you wanted to use this, you simply fork the project over. If you're doing so, go to your command terminal, like you just saw, node dot node space index dot js. This will allow you to get the questions, fill out the body. Super simple. After completing this, we'll simply check uh, for spelling errors and then um, name, we'll rename the README to what you want it rather than attempt. Uh, we use, today we used a few different things. Um, we used Inquire, um, Util, JavaScript, MD. We used all those. So there we go. We're going to put that in there. What type of usage? So what, what's the use case basically with this? It's perfect, quick and easy use case of generating a uniform readme document every time. Appear for all your projects. So again, uh, contributors, uh, we, we definitely use this website. So we're gonna throw that in there. Um, boom, how did you test this? Um, so you can refer to the get started and then you can kind of, basically after you get through the get started, uh, I recommend you change the name generate it again see you know play around with stuff um, github we're gonna throw in our username with our github link so that way that's all there email address email address in here dot com boom LinkedIn address we'll grab you boom get clone we already have it right there I'm gonna throw that baby puppy right there and a roadmap. Um, so right now um, we're kind of good on our roadmap, but for my other projects, I'm really gonna need roadmaps. So um, I kind of feel like this is completed to stages, but if I find I'm needing more additional information later on, we'll lay out a roadmap and I'll update this, uh, and you'll see that. I'm gonna use MIT licensing. Beautiful. All right, it generated. Sweet. Find it right here. Boom. Wow, look at this. It's all, all ready for me. I didn't even have to type all this stuff out. Super easy. Um, open up a preview, look at it. 
Uh, so you can see our badges. You can go down our about project. That link works. You can click installation. It takes you down to installation. You can go to our GitHub page. It pulls you up right there. GitHub pulls me up. When I go to my LinkedIn, it's there. You want to try and email me? Look, uh, future. Oh, oh, that's cool. You can generate your own shields. You can see how I did mine. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's pretty pretty neat. Um, and you can see like our populated stuff. This project to help build custom model more fast, easy manner. Made with Inquirer. Getting started, you fork over the project, get a local copy, get follow these steps. Um, and wow, look at that. It really, you know, just kind of set it itself apart. Installation, you can get cloned. Usage, right there. Roadmap, it's all filled in. It's very nice and easy and simple. So yeah, there you go. And again, like these, uh, if you happen to have longer projects, you can, you know, you can skip right down. Uh, this project's not quite feasible, but you know, once you get into those bigger projects, you're definitely gonna need this uh, table of contents, kind of sort everything. Oh wow, my name's already populated up there. So, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Um, that's everything for today. If you guys need anything, um, throw it out, throw it out there. Shoot me an email if you want to see some changes or something like that, or uh, you can reach out to me on any of these. I'm pretty available. Um, email, LinkedIn, and thanks so much.